All right, if you saw my previous video, you know my buddy Justin Bowles and I absolutely whacked the bass and redfish in the Mississippi River Gulf Outlet, a deep channel that tends to hold fish this time of year because they retreat from those shallow marsh areas that just get way too hot. So I'm planning to return there today, bringing Joel along with me. Haven't fished with Joel in literally like three months, but he's got the day off of work, so he's coming along. So is his, there he is. <laughs> So is his good buddy, Connor McNeil. And when the three of us fish together, we like to have competitions, and that's what we got today. It's kind of a crazy competition, similar to one we've done in the past. I'll give you all the details when we're on the water. All right, we're a little bit later than on the last trip, but it made for an easier run across the lake. We're now set up in the MRGO, and we're about to begin our competition. Now, here are the rules. Each of us gets to weigh one bass, one redfish, and one other. But here's the complicating factor. You have to declare which fish you want to weigh when you catch it. So if you catch a two pound bass and you declare you want to weigh it, and later you catch a four pound bass, too bad. Your two pounder is what counts. And at the end of the day, the first place finisher gets to kick back with his heels up. Second place gets to pick whether he wants to clean fish or clean the boat. And third place has to do whatever second place doesn't want to do. So a lot on the line here today, and hopefully we find some fish, because I gotta tell you, conditions are definitely different. Although it's not windy, the tide is absolutely screaming. So it's gonna be a different situation than what we had on my last trip here with Justin. But here we go. Look at the tide, dude. Look at that. Now I'm throwing a TKO shrimp. Joel is throwing a buzz bait. Connor, what are you throwing, a popper? I tell you what, with this big tide, the fish may not be, it may not be in this channel. Oh, there's a bite. It may be just on the on the flat rocks. I had a little bumpity bump from a little baby. Wasn't a wire. Oh, it's going to be even worse in that channel than it is here. There, there's the mullet. That's what we saw the other day. Dude. Oh, oh, they're throwing a cast net. Oh, somebody's got one. There you go, Connie. You want to weigh him? No? <laughs> I think you should. Dude, that's a big one. That's a nice bass. Connor, if you weigh that fish, you're, you're in the lead. Yeah, but for how long? Dude, this, the current is insane. This is a big difference than the other day. This episode of Marshman Masson is brought to you by Publius Sporting Goods. Ooh, did you get him? Yep. Dude, that's a good one. It's a good one? Dude, this is a big fish. Can y'all get the net, please? Nope, no net. Oh, oh Joel, shit. Joel's got a big one. <laughs> Connor's got a nice one. Uh, <laughs> Thanks. Can, can somebody please help me? Wait, remember the last time I asked for the net, Mr. Todd? Oh, I remember. Oh, here you go, buddy. Here, Joel, you want the net? Joel's got him a gorilla. Joel's got him a definite weigher. Let's see. See if he gets him. I really appreciate the help. He's not hooked for all either. You're also fighting all that current. Think about that. Oh, no, Joel. You got so much line out. <laughs> oh, he got him. Is that your weigher? I'm guessing he's about two. Two pounds. Yeah, that's a weigher. You weighing him, Joel? You got to declare it now. You can't weigh him and declare it. You gotta declare it before you weigh him. Ooh, there's mine. My turn. Look at that. Look, look. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I should weigh it as the other. <laughs> I'd say so. I don't think I'm gonna. This is a nice fish. Yeah, that's a, that's a good fish, Connie. Yeah, no. Completely unbiased. I would weigh that fish. I'd weigh him. Honestly, are you really gonna get a bigger bass around here? I caught a three and a half the other day. Really? Uh -huh. They were all like actually big fish? No, they weren't all big fish. They caught a lot of little ones. 
Tough, up. huh, Joel? Tough decision. I, know. Right. I wouldn't weigh him. <laughs> yeah, dude, I think I might. You gonna weigh him? It's so early in the day. You want that bird in the hand or you want two in the bush? What do you want? I don't know what that means. You don't mean either. Oh, come on. You've never heard the expression a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush? No. Basically, uh, so a bird that you have is worth two that you potentially could get. You still understand what that means? Yeah, I mean, I get it. I'm just trying to figure out if I should wave. Yeah, understand. That's that's the point. I don't care about the mass on the Last time I did this, I waved too early. Did you catch one bigger? Yep. Yeah, it's a tough decision, Joel. All right, you're going to wave. You're going to wave. All right, he's declaring it. Connor, you got your scale? I believe so. For little Joely? Connor, spectate and tell us what it is. I thought he was. 2.32. 2.32? 2.32. Oh, you, you should definitely be glad you're waiting then. All right, Joel's in the lead with 2.32. They may be out of this current. I mean, it may, may be a bunch of fish back here. Right, you, have, you have one, buddy? Y'all gonna have to help keep me off, oh. the, off the rocks. Oh, dude, I got a big one. Oh, Joel's got a gorilla. He came off? Dude, that was a gorilla. God dang, I told you. That was a three. The big one's back here. That was a, yeah, that was a thing. I'm glad I didn't catch it. That would have been. There he is. Oh, shoot. That was a good fish. That was a good fish. Connie got him. That's a good fish, Connie. That's a nice one. Ooh, that's a weigher. <laughs> Good fish, Connie. Nice bass, but not a way. Not quite. You're not going to weigh him, huh? Okay, I think you should. <laughs> Get you two locked in. God, that's a big one. Dude, I'm serious. Holy Goodness, Joel's got a gorilla. Why did I weigh that one? Joel's. Oh, you lost him. That's why. Alright, good. Okay, okay. Okay. I call mine more. That's bass. baby bass. Baby bass, yeah. I'm going to sit in my wear, but it's a start. You got to take baby steps. You got to crawl before you can walk. Jack, what I do? Losing all the wear fish. No more, no more bites except that one. Goodness. Good boy. Catching a big one. I think that's the way right there, Mr. Pay. Yeah, I think it's way up. I'm not gonna weigh him, but I am gonna eat him. Alright, at this point, I'm just going for big ones. So counter you did not weigh it, huh? Nope. Okay. This MR6 caught me a three and a half the other day. That's what I need. I need a big old ball of salvinia. Right here. Another bait. Look at that. Look at this fish head in its mouth. Give it here. <laughs> Bit somebody's worm in half. Look so at that. They're feeding like crazy. He probably got the other half in the front. No, he probably just missed the hook. You think it was those dudes? Yeah, it's probably those guys who just left. Definitely. He walked me literally out of the freaking wire. Uh, I hope he gets off. That's a good one. Connor, move out the no, way. I'm not moving out the way. This is a good fish, but it's not a weigher. Connor's got a small one. <laughs> yeah, so I've heard. Oh, we all think about Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah. Connor, you keep that one. Keep it. Oh, you got ice outside the ice chest there, oh, buddy. Oh, shoot. I'll keep, fix that in a sec. Keep that one, too. So that's 17. Yeah, you're off. Hold on here. Trying to get up 
Ooh, that might be a whale right there. Whoa, did they get a whale? Nope, not weighing him. It's a pound and a half, but I'm not weighing him. Yeah. What you want me to do, bud? Here, Joel, put that fish away. Oh, Connor. That was awesome. That was. Sadly, he ain't too big. Oh, he's not bad. Oh, perfect, buddy. No, but I'll let you take him. I was 18. You're 19. This is 20. Here, Joel, you putting these away? This episode of Marshman Bass On is brought to you by H&H &H Lure Company and by Versamax Corks and by Community Motors and by Delta Marina and by Death Grip Jig Heads. I heard it, Connor. Connor's got the squat. Uh, I'm weighing this one. Connor's weighing that one. I ain't cut one. You're not, you're not gonna beat Joel. You're not gonna beat Joel with that one, but you might beat me. Yeah. I told myself the next. Pretty nice fish. I'm gonna weigh it. Well, there you go. You got one. I need to put this away and focus on big fish. Stay disciplined. 1.34. 1.34. Okay. Uh, 1.34 for Connie. I'm gonna be here if all these pulls in three. So the best you get right now is second. Yeah. No. We can catch a red and kill you. I haven't gotten a fish on this bait yet, but I know if I get one it's gonna be nice. What's the throwing there? MR6. I got a red. What are you throwing? Straight bait. Uh oh. Oh god. Joel's got something and it's not a bass. Hopefully it's a TB red. Can y'all get the net please? No. Yeah. I just see yeah. yeah, well I'll get the net. That's definitely a red. If it's a bass, it's foul hooked. It's definitely a red. A sheep head no, 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 no. on a crankbait. No, 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 no. Come on, get off. No, 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 no. Get off. Come on. Get off. Joel's got way too much line out. Oh, he got it. Woo! That's my mother. <laughs> Keep that fish. We're going to eat him. You know it's your day when you catch a sheep head on a crankbait. Yeah. It's just your day to win. Just your time to win. All right, logging it in, Connie. Connie, look at it. 1.16 for Joel's sheep head. That's a big lead added to his bass. That's all right. I'm, I'm down with that. All right, here's the deal. Okay, if we do a little math here. Don't do the math yet. You, you don't have this thing in the bag. Texas rig? I am. You're going back to your old... Well, it's just, it's a big matrix cross. I'm just trying to get a big bite. It does, it's not going to do me any good to catch a bunch of dinks. Oh, look at that. I hit the freaking bird. Dude, it's just not my day. Some days you should have stayed in bed. Yeah, I should have stayed in bed, definitely. When you cast right into a freaking bird. You know what's your day. Right. When you got your sheep head on a crank bait, you, you know, know it is your day. day. Alright, just to give an update, Joel is killing us. What do you have? Two three two on bass and one point three on sheep head? So three and a half pounds? Yeah. Or one point one on sheep head. One point one. One point one six. Alright, I'll do the math later. But basically Joel's got about three and change. And Connor has what was yours, 1.3? Yeah, I, think. I think Connor's was 1.3. I have yet to weigh a fish. I caught one that may have been about a pound and a half, maybe should have weighed it, but you never know. I'm ho still holding out hope for a bigger fish. I've been throwing big baits and not having a whole lot of success at all. And these two guys have been whacking them. The hot baits of the morning have been 
a model, a model TWP H2O Express topwater bait. Connor has mauled them with that. I think actually, Joel, you caught your big one on that, didn't you? Yep. And Joel has also caught some fish on a Model S crankbait. Joel also lost two gorillas. What did those fish hit? Top? I don't yeah. remember. Both on a TWP. Right now, I'm throwing a Matrix Craw. Joel is throwing what? Model M. A Model M. Connor is tying on, looks like a Senko. Or a Yum Dinger. Senko style bait. Ooh. Look, at, look at Joel pulling one off the pylon. The Model M. Not a big one, but it'll eat. Like normal, well, make us see where <laughs> Bruce choice fluke, but not a big fish, unfortunately. Here, Joel. Oh, you God, you oh, he broke off. <laughs> Dude. I need to get rid of that fluoro. I can't, I can't take that anymore. I can't tell you how many fish I've lost on a hook set. God, man. Look, same spot at the knot. Mm. <sighs> that was my fish. Fishing for one big bite, I got it and I blew it. Oh, there. oh God! Get the net. Fish is screaming. Get the net, Tyler. That's Tyler a big one. Boys, that's, a that's my fish. Please don't get off. That's a red I think oh, it is a red. You're not nothing. This fish is not in the boat. He doesn't feel that well hooked. And it's a crankbait. Yeah. Oh! No! <laughs> Dude. This is just not my day. It's incredible. It's incredible. This is just not my... It's incredible. When it's not your day, it's just not your day. There you go. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Yeah. That's a yellow jacket. It's in Lafayette. Hey, watch it, watch it. Dude, you're on your leg. Joel just wanted to hit. Ah! Oh God. Wait, let me put my rod down. Here, get him. Let me put my rod down before we go to Florida. We're going to be dual wielding. No, oh, he's on you. He's on your leg. He's right by your, he's right by your hand. <laughs> Dude, where is he? <laughs> oh, get, take your hat off. Thank 
Leute. That was a nice fish. That would have beat me out of the wheel. On the MR6, I changed colors. Almost right away, got that fish. So, what I'm hearing is we have to have an emergency boat on the roof. Someone who's trying to shoot does not do to have a fish. Oh, yes, yeah, he's got a fish on there, huh? Not the one I was looking for. He's got old big on there. It's a keeper, but it's not a giant, it's not a weigher. We had 27. Oh God. I told you there's a few fish right oh, here. Oh God. Joel's got a red. Or a nice bass. Go. Yep, nice bass. He's kind of foul looked. Man, why couldn't I caught that one? Joel, you just railing it in? Watch out. Oh, that's, that's pretty decent. Flip. That would be Connor. Why couldn't I have caught it? Because he would have bit me and I would have lost him. Ooh, look how barely hooked he is. Yeah, oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, watch it, Joel. Joel, your fish is not important. There we go. There we go. I don't know if I'm going to weigh him or not. Okay, watch it. Are you going to want me to flip him up or no? You want me, let me net yours. That's That's a good fish. I wish I had that one. I gotta see what mine is. If it beats 1.3, he's short, but he's fat. What do you think, Joel? He's about the same size as mine. He's very fat, but he's not long. He's not long. All right, I'm I'm not gonna weigh him. Just see how much he would have weighed. All right. So that's see. what happened. I had this barely hooked, and then I got, got your, Yours would make it. Yeah, this is definitely mm. would make it. This one's not gonna make it. What do you think he is? I think he's about 1.2. Yeah. Connor, what were you? 1.3? One two, one point one six. All right, the rain has just arrived. Hearing a few claps of thunder, not as many as I expected, so that's a good thing. Hopefully we're not stuck under here too long, but whoever's camp this is, thanks for letting us hide out here. We'll definitely need some shelter out here. As soon as the rain's done, we're gonna head in. And that means I lost. Man, what a frustrating day. I hate losing, even to these two knuckleheads. Or I should say especially to these two knuckleheads. But congrats to them. They beat me fair and square. Joel had a really good day. Connor put some really nice fish in the boat. Hats off to them. So that means Joel gets to do nothing while Connor and I clean fish and clean the boat. Connor's eating a donut. Connor, what are you picking? You cleaning the boat or the fish? I'm cleaning the boat. Connor's cleaning the boat, that means I gotta clean the fish. That's all right, I would've picked that anyway, so. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed the video, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Marshman Masson channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Masson. Assuming we make it out of this alive. <laughs>